Get your pH together. So, yes, it is your platform partner, your hustling homie. Yes, Jackson. Less talk and hold a lot of action. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about health. And a lot of people are want to really uh, begin to get on these uh, their diets. They want to like get an alkaline diet. They want to eat electric foods, right? And they want to have a good pH balance. So I just want to show you one good way to balance your pH, at least something that I'm trying. I read about it, researched it. So now something I'm trying is getting some uh, pH test strips, pH test strips. Now these are for your saliva and for your urine. So basically really quick, so for those who don't know, your pH balance is dealing with if your body is very acid or if your body is very alkaline, right? So this deals with, this is really it deals a lot with your health. So they say to have a like perfect pH balance, I believe it's supposed to be like 7, it's on the, on the box it says 7.0. In other places, I've also read that it's supposed to be like 7.24 uh, or something like that, the exact perfect range. But do your research. Make sure you know exactly what the best range is supposed to be, the exact number. But it's important you get these. And let me tell you, uh, and sometimes if you eat a lot of processed foods, you're gonna your body will be more acid. If you eat a lot of, let's say, fruits, vegetables, or quote-unquote organic foods, you're supposed to be more alkaline, more energized. So think of it like this. Inside of a car, if there's a battery in a car and that battery is dying, what you'll know whenever you see a dead battery, you'll see acid form around that uh, that battery. So usually acid will kind of kill your energy and kill your body. So you don't want your body to have too much acid. That's why alkaline on your batteries, the best batteries, they say alkaline batteries. So it means a lot of good energy. But you don't want to be overly alkaline because too much alkaline is like bleach or like pneumonia. You know, they put alkaline inside of chlor uh, chlorine is highly alkaline. So you want to be at a good balance. So but anyway, this is a good way to know where you're at. Uh, these were about four dollars, something like this. I got it from the website called uh, Pippinrock.com here, Pippinrock.com. And uh, these were only about four dollars. They have great deals. I get a lot of stuff from them. The, the, the strips are simple. You can get the strip. You can use the saliva, put it on your cheek, or you can urinate on top of it. So you do it in the morning time um, when you first wake up, and you can do it uh, after your first urine and your second urine. If it says, and just look at the colors, and if it's like your 6.5 alkalinity, uh, that means you're still your acid. If you're below 6.5, it's like extremely acid. If it's 7.0, then on based on these strips it's perfect if you're 7.0 on this strip uh, so that's where you want to do is you want to kind of know some other ways uh that people know um about their alkaline this now this is this is what i've seen in research i don't know how true it is but it's just something interesting to see is to even look at when you use the bathroom uh look at how much how many bubbles are in your urine they say if you have a lot of bubbles every time you urine usually they say it's supposed to be a sign that you have more of alkal your body is more alkaline if you don't have any bubbles it's more of an acid state if there's no bubbles at all so again don't quote me on this i don't know how sure that is but it's some things that i read to look up um also you can look at your poop and different colors of your poop and if your poop is really loose or if it's really hard can let you know uh, also the shape of your poop and your stool lets you know a lot too so you want to take a look at those really be looking at your poop looking at your urine get some strips and uh if you can drink you some alkaline water uh we also if you're in chicago we got it at the store which is uh on 71st and stewart um, yeah, 71st and Stewart at the Culture Connection. But also, if you don't have access to alkaline water, sometimes putting in a little lemon juice or a little lime juice uh, can help with, with making your water alkaline or just eat more vegetables in your life. So with that being said, get you some strips, check it out, and just make sure that you keep balance in your life. So keep in tune. We got other videos, and I look forward to... Uh, I'm going to be doing this for like, 100 strips coming in this pack, too. 100 strips. So I'm going to uh, be doing this for like the next week because you want to get on, see what it is on average. Because what happens is you might eat some food and then as soon as you eat the food, that can impact the results on the test. So that's why you want to like wait uh, like at least two hours after you've eaten and also do this and look at the average. Because one time isn't going to tell you exactly where you're at. You got to look at the average of if I was 6.5 this hour then seven and then over the, that week what was your average uh result
So check it out. Peace.